All right, guys, let's have a little discussion here, shall we? I'm getting ready to torque these new exhaust manifold bolts, but one of them I'm not able to access. I'm not able to access that bolt straight on. So what do I use? What I'm gonna use is called a torque adapter, okay? So it goes on to your torque wrench like so, and it can go any position it wants to or that you put it but there's something critical about this torque adapter that is very critical for this torque wrench and that is where i'm going to do my torque now if i was to do my torque with it straight up like this that's a big no-no because i'm increasing the amount of torque i'm putting on that bolt because i'm changing the distance from this pivot point to here now there's calculations that I can do that will tell me what the torque is supposed to be when I change it from here to here by measuring the distance. Now, the other thing I can do, instead of doing my calculation to get my torque difference from here to here, is simply move it parallel or in line with that pivot point. When I am at 90 degrees like this, my torque value will not change. If I move it over here, my torque value still will not change. But if it's anywhere past the top of this anvil, my torque value will change. Now, these torque values are 30 foot pounds and 38 foot pounds. Is it gonna be that big of a difference? Probably not. But if you are doing precision work, you have to know exactly what that torque value is gonna be per se if I was doing it on a head bolt. I cannot be that far off. So with that being said, let's get into it and I'll show you how it's done. Now, y'all are probably gonna hound me about using a six inch extension on this torque adapter, but there are multiple videos proving that this extension does not decrease the amount of torque I'm putting out right here on this part where the socket sits. CNJ Diesel Repair, Charles France, has proven this time and time again on his TikTok channel, CNJ Diesel Repair. He has even done it with over four feet of extension and a half inch wrench or half inch torque wrench he has proven that even over four foot yeah there's extra rotation because of the twist in these extensions but it was only one foot pound off of what he set it to and most torque specs allow a variance of two to three foot pounds some even as extreme as five foot pounds so before all you keyboard warriors start attacking me, go to that TikTok channel and check them out. I will drop the tag in the description of this video. Now let's get a better look at how I'm using this torque adapter. Now this video is not going to make it into the YouTube shorts as it's going to be over 60 seconds, but it will be on my TikTok channel at MacDaddy89 and it'll be on this YouTube channel as well, MacDaddy89 on YouTube. So in the comment section, leave me comments or questions about what you would like to see next or if you just have a general question about anything operation wise, uh, repair wise, tips, tricks. Let me know in the comment section below and I will make those videos for you. And don't forget to have a great day.